Hi, I'm Gloria, and I'm here with Chief Yoni Shiny. Um, this is a, a redo. I originally unveiled my first ever birch box because I got off the waiting list. Um, unfortunately, something was wrong with the video and it didn't transfer, so I'm redoing it. I have already opened it, and I'm very happy. So you can see, birch box. It's very pretty, you know, nice and economical, and it's got a, 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 a nice uh, eco-friendly craft, natural craft box, pretty pink lettering. Um, so I do have a lot of makeup on. I got off work a little while ago, and I'm usually, by now, I'm completely uh, free of makeup because it's quite a bit <laughs> to have to walk around with. It doesn't look all that natural in person, but um, I guess it works for this because yesterday I didn't have any on, so I couldn't see my face. I feel like redoing it, so let's reopen it. So just so you know, it's in a nice, pretty pink tissue. So you open it up, and it's a lot of goodies inside. So we'll start off with the little pamphlet they have inside, Beauty School. It's actually quite cool. It's got, um, you know, obviously it's designed nicely, and it's pretty and pink. Uh, and because it's, you know, back to school, and they went with a back to school theme, and they've got this very cool tools of the trade where they show you, you know, a quick basic outline on how to use basic things like kabuki brush and um, eyelash curler and other things of the sort. Uh, they've got a list of the things that they sent you, the samples, the deluxe size samples anyway. Um, how to read a label, which I find very important. Um, I'm a big label reader, and I try to avoid as many toxic chemicals as I can in my product. Um, tips for better shape. <laughs> Good for me, because I am an awful shaver, as I've uh, told you in previous blogs. I always end up cutting myself constantly. And um, then some, you know, common uh, beauty mistake fixes whenever you do some um, bad makeup, maybe too much blush or something like that, and they give you a quick rundown on how to uh, take care of that. Like, for instance, um, one too many perfume spritzes, dip a cotton ball dipped in rubbing alcohol, and gently wipe the area where you overspritz, which I've been doing for quite a few years. Um, or if I'm switching perfumes, you can do that too. It doesn't work perfectly, but it does help. So, first thing you get, which is kind of cool. Um, so you get one Schick Hydro Silk Razor. And by the way, yes, I'm very hot. You can see me sweating. I don't know the air conditioner on in here. And you can hear the kids outside playing in the park across the street, which is kind of cool. But this is a five-blade razor. They give you one for free. And you get a $4 off any Schick refill. Uh, I like this. I wanted to try one of these. And they're kind of expensive, so I probably wouldn't have bought it without trying it myself. Uh, and it says it's got a water-activated serum that moisturizes while you shave with an oval-shaped design that hugs tricky areas like knees and ankles. I always cut myself. Um, I like this. This is nice, very useful. Uh, the next thing is this Miss Jessie's Stretch Silkening Cream. Let me get a little closer to you so you can see this. Uh, it's for curly hair, which I like. I'm a curly girl, and they let me have my hair curly on camera, which is really awesome because a lot of stations will make you go straight, and thankfully, curly hair, wavy hair, it's coming back in style, so they're a little more open to it. Um, and I like the idea of not looking like everybody else with the same haircut, the same hairstyle, all straight hair. So this is me, curly hair. Of course, you have to neaten it up a little bit. I'm a little frizzy. It's very humid right now. Uh, it's called Stretch Silkening Cream, the best darn curl creams, period. Uh, the only issue I have with this is it does have mineral oil, which I tried to avoid, but it's on my hair at least. It's not really on my face from the skin my hand. Um, and it does have a dimethicone, but it is PEG um, 12, which again, probably not the best thing in the world, but it's water soluble and I do uh, go by the curly girl method. So uh, I have to have water soluble everything in my hair so I don't have to use shampoo. Um, and if you're curious about the curly girl method, you can look it up or you can look at my blog and that will uh, give you more information about it. It's not gross. I do actually wash my hair, just not with shampoo. All right, this is very cool. I used it today. I have it on right now. This is the Pixie uh, by Petra Lip and Line Pencil. And uh, this particular color is in Orchid Rose. I really like this. Look at that. It's very cool. I will show you uh, what it looks like here. I don't know if you can see it. The light's probably not that great. But um, it's very nice. It's got pencil, lip liner, and a uh, lipstick on the other side. It's supposed to be long wearing. And it also says it's um, preservative-free, mineral oil-free, and paraben-free. This alone 
would cost you quite a bit more than the $10 that my deluxe sample box would cost. Because just in case I didn't mention this before, and I don't think I did, um, this is $10 a month. You get a different box every month, and they send you a lot of deluxe samples so you get to try things uh, without being a little tiny sample. You get to try stuff and see if you like it. And I like this. And I used it today on air, and it's very nice. I like it. It goes with my skin tone. Uh, when you sign up for this, it'll ask you what sort of things you're interested in hair, skin, aging, acne, um, natural, whatever. And they'll focus on that for you. Um, got a, a little sample of Viva La Juicy La Fleur, Juicy Couture, perfume. Um, it's actually a little sweet for my taste, so I might give it to someone who I know likes sweet florals. But this one says it's a uh, sparkly mandarin, wild berries, dewy honeysuckle, and soft jasmine uh, with a creamy gourmand addiction. That means it's a little sweet when it says it's gourmand. It means it's like a foodie sort of a, a, a scent. Um, it smells pretty. I actually tried on yesterday, but everything I wear gets very, very uh, sweet on me. So in the 80s, I tried to put on poison, and it smelled like I was chewing great bubble yum. So <laughs> I get the sweet ones if I can. But it is nice. And uh, I do like samples of perfume because um, I do like to change occasionally. Uh, my favorite skin cream ever, UB. It comes out of uh, Japan. It's a glycerin uh, moisturizer. And it's got E, C, B2, and camphor in it. So it smells a little bit like camphor to me. Um, it also is uh, good and soothing for your skin and healing because of the camphor. And of course, all the other yummy stuff in it. The smell does dissipate after a while. But I love this stuff. Cuticles, hands, lips. I even use it on my eyes, you know, for uh, for wrinkles. Oh, wrinkles. Um, uh, I do love this stuff. I actually ran out of my big tube, so I'm glad they sent me a little sample, and it reminds me to go buy another tube of this. I recommend this. It's a little expensive, I think. $15 for a normal size tube, but it lasts a while, and I like it. You can use it for so many different things, and I just keep it in my bag. Um, the other thing they've got, uh, which I really like. It's called Pencils of Promise, and they say believes every child should have access to quality education. We create schools, programs, and global communities around the common goal of education for all, which is very important. Uh, and what they're trying to do is raise $25,000 at least. Um, so all month they're donating 15% of proceeds from full-size orders until the end of the month. Um, and they're, uh, this is from the Birchbox Shop to Pencils of Promise with the goal of building a school in Central America. You can go to pencilsofpromise.org forward slash donate and get more information. I completely like this. I really do. I believe that education is worth, oh, it's priceless. And um, I'm happy to have the education I got. I got a good one. So, you know, grateful to my parents that, that sent me to good schools and uh, grateful that I grew up in a country that allows us to get good education. Uh, in most areas, not every area, but most areas. So, um, Pencils of Promise, check it out. I like that. So anyway, this is my very first birch box. I like this idea. Let's see, we'll take a quick look at it again, what's in there. See if you can see it. Now that's a lot for $10. And they go through the trouble of going through a lot of different products and uh, picking out things they think that you might enjoy. Um, for $10, this is a good deal, and you don't have to do the legwork on top of that. So I'd say this is a cheap, yummy, shiny. If I had a third thumb, I'd put that up too. I'm sticking up my big toes. You can't see it, but big toes up too. So four thumbs up. Um, so it's cheap, obviously, $10. Yummy. Smells yummy. This smells really good, nice and fresh. And so this perfume, again, doesn't work for me, but that doesn't mean it doesn't smell good. And uh, shiny, well, this is a whole box of happy shiny. So, uh, oh, you can see me sweating. It's really hot in here. <laughs> it's so human. Um, but uh, I see, I'm shiny. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm shiny as well. So, this is a great deal. Sign up. You'll have to be on the waiting list for a little while. But mine was only a couple weeks, and then I got my first box. So, I recommend this. For sure. Cheap, yummy, shiny, birch box, good deal. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and um, I hope to be doing more of these videos, uh, more than just the writing. So hopefully I'll get another one out. Just it takes forever to upload. But we'll work on that. All right. Well, cheap love. Gloria signing out.